Hey everybody, new Resident Evil 4 demo has just come out, I wasn't going to get it, I was going to wait till the full game came out, but got to play it. Now I have, um, haven't tried it yet, but I have been into the menus just to adjust the volume, have to see if uh, the levels are right, I'm not sure. And by the sounds of it, it's not going to be a long demo, it's not timed like it was, I think was it the Resident Evil 2 uh, remake demo was timed. I think you had an hour to play it. Um, whereas this, I think it's unlimited, but you must get to a certain section and then it ends. Not sure where that is yet. We're going to jump in though. If you've been following the channel, well, on YouTube anyway, I've been replaying Resident Evil 4, the original, and I'm nearly towards the end now. I've played it so many times, so I'm very familiar with the game. I'm not sure how closely the remake's going to follow it, so I'm sure they've mixed quite a few things up. And um, you can choose what controls you want. I've actually went with the Resident Evil 4 controls, the original controls, just to get familiar with it, because no doubt I'll make mistakes if I... Uh, just from intuition, after playing the Resident Evil 4 original so many times, um, it's like muscle memory now different buttons so I'm trying to stick closely to that as possible but yeah let's jump in September 30th 1998 it's a day I'll never forget the cop inside me died that day and that night Raccoon City was wiped out thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, the punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least they kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. So yes, given a bit of a backstory here. So, the US president's daughter has gone missing. Uh, and you're sent to a, a village somewhere in Europe to, to find her. It's supposed to be Spain, I believe. They are Spanish speaking. I don't know if it explicitly states that it is Spain. And again, in the full game, I'm assuming there's probably going to be a bit more of a, uh, a video leading up to this point. Okay, so we're straight into it. Let's uh, just get from ourselves familiar. Okay, so you can't use the gun yet. Wow, this looks very... a lot scarier than the original. It's very dark. Can't use the map yet, can't use the menu. Okay, so it's just leading us... Probably going to be a little bit of... Ah, uh... oh, there we go, yep. Yeah. Telling you how to use the controls. Can hear the crows as well. They've kept that sound in. Nice. Not so fresh meat. Okay, so we can crouch now. There's the crows. And this is the original, where it's where you start in Resident Evil 4, the original. Anything around the back? Nothing around there. I wonder if it's going to follow exactly the same route or not. Anyone home? 
God, this is creepy. Yeah, the layout's different. What's this? Mm hmm. Judgment is nigh. Similar to the Resident Evil 2 remake where you can um, interact with objects and get extra clues. writing. Now is this going to be where we first meet the year? Uh... Oh shit. <laughs> yep. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. You know a key? Ah, uh, the police officer. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Snap. Oh, is the police officer still alive? Oh, damn. This is not good. Oh, I got the key. Now we can use the gun. Right, this is scary. Scary time now. Okay, let's just have a quick look around here. Is that something on there? Ugh. this. Ah, police officer. Mario Fernandez Castano. What if he's one of the ones that was in the car in the original Resident Evil 4? Does that take you here? So now we should be able to get in here. Okay. Feels weighty. Oh no. Oh, it's so dark with the flashlight as well. Oh, the lighting's fantastic in this. I mean, when I say dark with the flashlight, that kind of contradicts itself, but dark and then you have to use the flashlight. Um, oh, that's creepy. This is way creepier than the original. Oh, lovely. Or something. Oh, I can hear the police radio. Great, I don't think. Hell's going on. Map updated. It's map triangle. No, that's inventory. Ooh, inventory. Okay, so that looks like a relatively large in inventory, which is good. I'm assuming that they are going to have. You've got Pesetas at the top right, so I'm assuming you're going to have the merchant like the original.
might be able to extend the inventory, the Attache case. Ah, okay. It's got durability. So your knife's not infinite. Oh. What was that? Oh crap. The hell's that? Hello? Oh! Okay, so the nice, very different, it's more stabby than slashy, but the durability hasn't gone down, so I'm wondering if the durability only goes down, um, maybe when you do, uh, like, QTE, QT, um, like, quick time events or certain actions, because that doesn't seem to cause any damage to the weapon, which is good. Oh, shh. I've only got six bullets left though, and they seem to take a fair bit of damage by the map. We've been all this section, so we need to go either up or downstairs here. Good old green herb. And it looks like your health, the bottom right, that looks similar to the original where it's um what's that about? Five o'clock on the clock. Um it looks like it can go up to about nine o'clock, so maybe you can upgrade your health, similar to well, the same as the original. I was gonna say lock the door. Is that Ashley? Bruce. This is Gondor One. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Ah, uh, yes, the I'll lake. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. Alright, get ready. Does the quick turnaround still work? It does. Okay, so they're not coming for us? Anything here? No. Good sign. This game looks beautiful though. Very dark, atmospheric. I love it. It's very same, similar to the original, but different at the same time. Um, obviously that first bit normally... Oh, there's a crow. I wonder if you can shoot the crow. You can. Right, be careful. Ah, so easily identifiable breakable objects with the yellow. I wonder if that'll stay throughout the game. Hang on, ammo, great stuff. I think when I looked at the controls, reload was R1. Yep. Yeah, but in the original Resident Evil 4, when you first go into a house, the first person you face 
um, is the one that he did that sort of roundhouse kick on. But normally you have to face him. Ah, typewriter for a save. You can't save, we'll be in the demo, that makes sense. But that's where your first save would be. Gunpowder. So they've implemented the ability to make ammo again, like similar to the, the, rem the remakes. That's good. I can hear something. Again, I'm not going to shoot the crows simply because they seem to drop besaiters and I'm probably not going to need that in the demo. Is this the air? Uh... <laughs> That's a bit of a throwback to the original. If you remember that, you have to shoot the... Hang on, what's going on here? someone one more please yes I can hear someone This car yet must be up here. What? I'm melee. Good. Where's your? Oop! There's one more. Powder. So again, using your knife is going to be key to keep an ammo, keep pressing the map instead of. What do we need for to create ammo? Five handgun and one blue, whatever that is. I haven't got a blue thing. And if there's going to be any quick time events. Oh, should not. Uh, quickly ran. Now, is that actually damaged my health or not? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Now, there must be someone in here. Oh, there is. Can I shoot him? Come on. Come on. Oh, flash grenade, good stuff. Red herb. More handgun ammo. Great, so we can. Can we lift it? No, how do we lift this up? That oh, feels good. Flash, what was that I saw before? Oh, there's quick inventory. That's handy. Now, is this going to be the village? Oh, it is. Not sure I'm ready for Chainsaw Guy. Got a feeling because these guys seem to be pretty tough anyway. Oh, that's the. Oh, God, he's still alive. Shit. Damn. 
this game looks stunning. This is on the PS5, by the way. I caught the chicken. Hang on, let me kind of go this way. Now, will this have almost exactly the same layout? Yeah, there's a green herb here. That's what I was looking for. And yeah, there's a woman over there. Is it worth trying it? Is there any context menu? Oh, you can do like silent kills. That took some of the durability away. Okay, so silent kills, certain context sensitive actions affect the durability. Um, like that though. Doesn't seem like it. Right, let's... Can I sneak through this window? I can. Is that going to set anything off though? Okay. Right, started. Fight them off. Yeah, um. But where's the, uh. Oof. Oh, I didn't expect him to be there. Yeah, this is scary. Um, um, shotgun in here. Is the shotgun still in here? Oh, the cutscene. Ah, oh, chainsaw guy. Yeah. Scavenge. I don't want to say it is. Man, he's not going to do me much good at the moment. Yep, yeah, shotgun. Yes. Sorry, that's just outside. That's not the police on the game. Ooh. Run, 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 run. Oh, nice. Shh, chainsaw guy. Right, what have I got? No, wrong button again. Right, uh, we've oh, got two grenades. <laughs> right, uh, again, keep pressing map. Okay. Damn. Right, gotta be careful. Is there anyone behind me? There's not at the moment, so I'll trap myself here, won't I? Nice. 
Damn. God, this is... This is way scarier. Oh, arm oh, just actually got blown off there. Is that it? Damn, that shotgun felt good. You see his arm just got absolutely blown off there. Leon's just casually stand there. Damn, that detailing on the face is amazing. Is Leon going to save the line? I wonder if they kept some of the cheesiness because obviously it seems like they're going for a bit of a darker approach. Go on, save the line. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Hey, he said it! <laughs> oh, they've kept that in, that's amazing. And that must be the demo finished. Yep. So, 18 minutes. 20 enemies killed. Good. I don't know what rating that is thank you for being available 24th of March 2023 I have already pre-ordered it and like I said I was thinking of not when the demo was announced I was thinking I'm not going to play it I'm going to wait till the game comes out um, and then I saw I think it was was it last night or this morning I saw um, that the demo had been released or was starting to be released and um I just had to go for it. I thought before I see any spoilers or anything, I'm going to try it for myself. Let's just have a quick look. I'm not going to play it again yet. Um, see if there's anything in here. What I would have liked, and I'm just seeing if it's in here, Parry with R2. Oh, so L1's Parry. Oh, okay. Didn't realise that. Repeated button in type. Oh, you can just hold. Okay. Yeah, aim assist, assist off. Let's just have a quick look. Um, no, I think that's it for now. First impressions. Extremely happy. It's close enough to the original. They've kept the main points and obviously that battle in the village is one of you know the the biggest first piece that you see and it feels way more scary than the original i mean i remember first playing that and i think the first time that i played that section i died multiple times but um back in the original and now it's like you know, when you know what to do um it's not too bad actually but it feels very weighty the guns feel very solid but the enemies feel very tough I don't know what difficulty this is class has, as if this is normal or easy. It feels like probably normal. Um, I like the the melee kills, the sneak attack that you can do, the durability of the knife. I'm not keen on durability normally, but I like the fact that normal knife attacks, it wasn't using any durability, but then special attacks, I suppose, it does. I think that's really good. I think that's a good balance. Um... The shotgun, when I finally got that, that felt very, very powerful, as you want it to. Blew one of the um, Granado's limbs straight off. That was uh, spectacular. Um, grenade felt very powerful. The chainsaw guy was, I think, looked very similar to the original, but very scary. Um, obviously, didn't get to explore the village too much. I think it must be after you've killed a certain amount of enemies or a certain amount of time, that's when the bell goes off and 
that's that bit finished. Um, I did use a couple of grenades which killed a massive amount of enemies, so that's probably what caused that to be maybe a little bit shorter. Um, but yeah, first impressions, very, very happy with it. Really can't wait to try the full game. Be interesting to see because we didn't get a video really at the start. We've got a little bit of snippets of um, flashbacks to Resident Evil, the original. But we didn't get any context really apart from that writing about Ashley and the lead up to that. So I'm assuming that video is saved for the full game. There's going to be a video and how you get to that place. Where where were the police officers? I'm assuming it's the same as the original where you ride in the car with the police officers. Um, very, It's very dark. I like the the ambience you get when you have to use the flashlight with the gun. I was just going to say what I would have liked is switching shoulders with the weapon. So when you're holding the handgun, obviously you're aiming from your right shoulder, there are certain games where you can then switch um, to aim left. So if you're peeking around corners, I would have liked that. It doesn't look like that's in there. It wasn't in the original either. Um, but yeah, really, really happy. I will be doing a full series on this game. Now, whether I'm going to do it on Twitch and then upload the VODs pretty much unedited on YouTube, or if I'm going to follow what I've done with my original Resident Evil 4 playthrough, which is play it offline, edit the videos down to um, sort of anywhere between 35 minutes and an hour chunks. Um, I'm not sure have to wait and see but for anyone that joined thank you very much this vod will be going on youtube as soon as possible so if you are watching on youtube hit that like button drop a comment down below have you tried the demo have you pre-ordered the game what do you think of it if you have tried it um and hit that subscribe button but um i'll see you all soon cheers